Hi guys, welcome back. I hope that you're all well. I'm in the kitchen because I'm raring to go today. Last night I decided that I've had enough with putting up with some things in this kitchen. Now don't get me wrong, I love our kitchen. It was probably the best £450 that we spent. It has done us so well since we have installed it. But there's just a few things that feel like if we spend that little bit more, it's gonna make my life so much easier, or our life so much easier. And to be honest, it just needs like a good clear out and sort again. I feel like every year the kitchen just needs a good go through. Let me show you the ideas and what I have ordered in hope to change it. So for example, over on this side of our kitchen where we have the coffee machine, it's like our little drink station because we also have our glasses in here, which works well, but these need a little sort too. We have this cupboard which you can see we're not utilizing this top space at all and we've only got like a few cleaning products in the bottom it just doesn't really work from having a look online this one seems to be a bit of an odd size our small cabinets are quite small so i've ordered basically a solution where you take off the hinges and you have the door pull out exactly like our pantry does so it will pull and it will have like a cabinet so that you can open it up like this and see all the products in the top and it's got two shelves on it. Honestly, it sounds so ridiculous, but I think it's gonna be life-changing. And then I've also ordered four drawers to go inside our two biggest cupboards. So if I show you over here. So this is basically our kitchen in its entirety. Lovely little kitchen. But this is basically taken up with seating. This is the best seat in the house right here because that radiator gets really hot. These pantry pillows are just the best for storage. Then we've got our fridge. But then we've only got two, so this cupboard and this cupboard really is our only usable big cupboard. We've got this teeny tiny one under the sink, which honestly is really very small. Dishwasher, some drawers, and then a really annoying corner. So how I think I can improve the kitchen is by making the two bigger drawers more usable and hopefully the corner cabinet too. Let's see how I get on, but I'm hoping that the usability of this kitchen is going to be so much sweeter. First job though, and this is this video is probably gonna be over quite a lot of days. I'm gonna like spend an hour or two every day just niggling away at a few things. Today, today I need to sort, organize and empty the cupboards so that I know how they are gonna go back into the new solutions in the best way possible. So this is basically everything from our food cupboards and larders. These are pretty much empty. I've got some like a baking stuff in the bottom there. And this one too, a few cereal bits. And then these are also empty now. So now I've got it all laid out. I'm gonna want to organize it and kind of make it look a little bit pretty. I am going to be changing everything over to glass in our kitchen. I'm not gonna preach about that, but I'm slowly just going to change things over so I might look for some glass jars. Actually I found some nice ones in Matalan so I may get those this week or have a little look online quickly. I'm going to see if there's anything else online that I want for all of the storage now that I know what I need to put back. And now we've got to live with a lot of our like prep and usable space in the kitchen out of use so I need to get this cracking. It's another day and the kitchen being a tip is already getting to me. But I did pop to Matalan this morning and I picked up these jars that I was saying that I wanted. So this one is like the largest size that you do, 11 pounds. And I got two of those. And then I also got three of the smaller ones, which are nine pounds. I'm hoping that these are gonna go in that larger drawer with things like cereal, nuts, the things that we're using kind of like all of the time. Today, hopefully the Amazon thing should arrive. Oh, and I got one other thing. shelf, a shelf, I'm sure they call it like a shelf, um, a countertop shelf, but I'm planning on putting this in with our mugs and glasses. I think I can fit two in there, but I didn't want to get two because, you know, th this process takes a long time because if you buy everything, unless you measure everything really perfectly, 
which I'll be honest, I'm not great at. I did have to measure for the solutions, but um, for this kind of thing, I just prefer to purchase and see if it'll work out. So I might go back, there was another one in there, I might go back and get that. Now I'm just gonna clean it all and see if I can start organizing today. Oh my, what is wrong with you? seems to get better and then it gets worse but we have delivery i'm pretty sure this one is giving away that it is the corner one it looks quite doesn't look big i'm not sure and then hopefully i think this is the little cupboard the other ones aren't coming for a few more days to me that looks a bit small but let's see Darn it, I think that's not gonna work. It's gonna be not using enough of the space, which is a shame because I measured that perfectly and there are only to check. So why is it so small? Actually, before I put this together, I better check that it fits. So now I need to empty that cupboard which I think I might have to put into the living room, dining room at the moment because I've got no space to put things apart from the floor, which would just be annoying. I almost forgot that we have this, I'll be honest, we don't really use it, but I can't get rid of it because it's sentimental. Ollie got me this when we had been dating probably only like two months and it was my birthday and he got it so that I could have a nice brunch with the girls and he even made the waffle mixture for me and dropped it around, so cute. Well, this is gonna cheer me and the kitchen up. I've just had my Freddy's flowers delivery, which is probably one of my favorite of the week at the moment. You guys know that I love flowers. I particularly like them in the kitchen, just bringing a little bit of life and a little bit of color. But let me tell you about them. So Freddy is actually the founder of Freddy's flowers and he grew up in his parents' flower shop, wondering why people didn't have flowers week in, week out, rather than just on a special occasion. So he wanted to change that and he came up with flower delivery service right to your door. This is what the box looks like inside and you can receive boxes as often as you like by skipping deliveries or using an online calculator and you can pause and cancel as often as you like. They are the most gorgeous fresh flowers. Just look at my last few weeks. This is kind of insane. I have to say the flowers have lasted longer than any other flowers that I've ever had before. So these are actually my last two deliveries from Freddy's Flowers. So these were last week's, which still look amazing. In fact, some of the lilies are still yet to come out. And this is the week before, so a few weeks ago now, and they are still looking so beautiful. I can't tell you how many times I've had a bad bunch of flowers from the supermarket, but because Freddy's Flowers get them straight from the grower, they're not waiting around in vans or shops, they're going straight to your home, and so they're lasting that much longer in your home. So now's the fun part, I'm gonna rearrange these into smaller vases so that I can get these ones out. And they do this wonderful little explanation of all of the flowers, which I love, learning a little bit more about the flowers and also how you arrange them. So if you struggle to arrange flowers, you can make them look beautiful with this. And they supply you with a few of the flower fuse so you can use them when you move them on to the next vase. week has these lovely snowberries and this is how they come packaged and this vase here is actually their classic vase which is just the most perfect size for the flowers don't they look gorgeous and because they were so lovely and long I had a few off cuts which I use for a lot of bud vases which I'm gonna put in the toilet and snug and then I've still got these so next week these should be blooming like those. If you fancy giving them a go, giving yourself a little weekly treat or a very lucky loved one, I have a code which will give you 50% off your first two boxes, which is simply just Laura. I'll leave it linked down below. I can't wait to put these in a finished kitchen by the end of this.
How do I get that out? Am I being silly? How do I get that out? I can't get it out. I'm gonna be here the whole afternoon trying to get that out. The most annoying thing is, is that I'm really stubborn and I really like to do things myself, so I'm gonna keep going. I can't get it out, so I'm gonna have to wait for Ollie to get home. If you can't do it, I'm just gonna have to saw it in half. So I thought I'd do this, which is a job that I can manage. It's the shelf thing. <laughs> that was 11 pounds, by the way. I'm gonna pop it here. As you can see, we've got all this wasted space. I think I can go back and get a second one of these. What are the chances that Ollie will do this straight away? Oh, no, he's struggling, I can tell. I'm trying to remember if we put it in before putting the door on. Oh, you said that earlier. I know, but then I was like, taking off the hinges is gonna be really annoying. Yeah. Just heard a big slam. I was stood right here wondering what he had done. Just break it. Just break it. I think it may have gone in there before the kitchen was put together. Yeah. There was no way that was coming out. Yeah. So. Well, if anything, you've just made my day because that was driving me mad and I wanted to be able to do it and I thought it was achievable, but it wasn't. So <laughs> I'm happy. If this video seems like it's going really smoothly, um, yeah. About another hour on it. This is starting to go down. This is starting to look better. So far I've put like wet ingredients in here and then we've got all of our dry over here, which means label. Oh my, oh my. <laughs> Thought I'd just quickly show you if you are thinking about doing these for your cupboard, they come in packs of two, but actually three fit really easily. We could definitely have a third one in there and it would utilize the space like a hundred times better than it was before. Same with that cupboard. So pack of three would be perfect for two cupboards. Ollie's correcting me. He thinks it's 70% better to be really accurate because we had two shelves before and we couldn't utilize the shelves, the back bit weren't used. So are you happy now, 70%? Uh, it's an estimation, so. Somewhere between 50 to 70%. I see somewhere between 70 and 100. Oh, okay. Definitely, definitely 70 plus. Okay. Beautiful. Oh, that does make me happy. done a nice deep clean and we've decided <laughs> that we're gonna put the sonus bar up on the shelf a little bit more hidden so the coffee machine is going off behind me we often get a lot of stuff collect around this point of the kitchen and this is really our prep space our only prep space in the kitchen or cooking easy space to do anything and these four plugs get used up so quickly with appliances down there. So the sonus is still gonna have to be plugged in down there. You can see it's the white one on the left hand side, but we're gonna sit the actual bonus, bonus? <laughs> sonus bar here and drill through the cabinet here. Exciting. I feel like I'm finally getting there now and the last few bits that I've ordered have arrived. So I have these Joseph and Joseph um, cupboard pan lid stores, which I'm hoping to put on at the back of the door. These were one thing that like really in the cupboard just annoyed us. They'd really get in the way. And then also I have these, I don't know 
how good these are gonna be, but on Amazon they had the most insane reviews, so I was just like, I'm just gonna go for it. They are under the cupboard lights. They don't look very fancy. Thankfully, our cupboards, they'll be hidden. I'm gonna give them a go because our kitchen, you can probably tell, is very dark. And sometimes at night, it's, it's light at the moment, but when it's dark and you're prepping food, especially over here, it'd be nice to have a little bit more light. I hope these are okay. I'm gonna get them, um, one thing is, is that they do take batteries, they're not plug in, which isn't ideal, but because we do hope to extend, this isn't our forever kitchen, and we don't have many sockets here, I think this will be the best solution. Right, batteries are in, they're a little bit flimsy, I mean, they're not the best things in the world, but you can, Oop, just press them and turn them on or you've got a remote which turns them on and off and I thought this was quite good you could also um, put them on for timer so 10 30 an hour an hour and a half and you can also dim them so that's quite nice if you don't want it so bright impress so far I am actually really impressed. That brings so much more light into the kitchen. So I have six all together. I put four underneath that cabinet. So I've got another two. I think the other two, excuse the mess everywhere, could maybe go under there. It would be lovely one day to get some lighting in here too, but you'd be able to see them in those. I just don't think it would be nice to be able to see them. If I was to go really mad, I'd also put them on top of the kitchen cabinet. I'll see what Ollie thinks. Maybe that would be too much but I think it'll be really nice for this dark, small space. Oh, wow! Doesn't it look good? Oh, you put it up there as well? Well, no, so I was going to get your opinion whilst they're there. So I wanted to do four under there and two under there, so that's the six. What do you think about also having them above? Is it overkill? Or do you quite like it? Mm. Let me take it off and see what you think about it. This is now one of my favourite views of our cosy kitchen. You can really tell today we're end of October here, so it is quite dark. And so the lights just make such a difference to the space. It just gives it more like atmosphere. It makes it 10 times more cosy. It also makes it a million times more usable because we're now when we are coming to cook dinner, we can actually see what we're doing. So in the end, not only did I put it on these cabinets, I also put a few on this little cabinet over here, our like drinks nook. And then I did also put a few in the shelves. I thought, well, why don't I uplight them rather than downlight them and then you don't see the lights. I love it. However, I don't have enough for the bottom, like bottom one with the um, microwave. What do you think? Do I need to get another pack or am I just going ridiculous with these lights? But they honestly make the room so much more bougie and luxe and I just want to keep them on all day, every day, which obviously I can't, but it's lovely to have on when we're in here. Then because of all of the reorganizing, we could take a lot off of the side, which we need in our small little kitchen. But let me show you around some of my favorite cupboards now. Over here, I didn't even need a second shelf because it all fitted in here fine. And I haven't even got my um, glass display unit for the dining room yet. And all of these kind of things will be going in there. So when I get that too, um, I'll have a lot more space. This one below the counter. I mean, I don't know if this is exciting for any of you, but this just makes me really very happy. We haven't gone for a third one in here yet, but I think we might as well because I've got like a whole other bit of storage 
that I'm not even using down there. Like, look at all that space that I could be using. Talking about space, this one I never solved. So this one's empty, and I think if I had that one and that, I just, I don't even know what I'll do with all the space. This is now my dream pull-out pantry. Looking a lot more sparse, that's mainly because we had loads of containers that didn't have a lot in. And also at the moment we have HelloFresh, so we don't often use as many ingredients. However, over here is a lot more real, kind of a lot more packaging and all of the things that we grab to cook. If you're wondering, all of these have gone for other storage. And then over this side, to be honest, I had this cupboard empty for a very long time. And then I just decided to chuck some of these things in there. So we now don't have the hot chocolate maker out. I don't have it all the time, so it's quite nice to have it off the side. <laughs> Two things of cookie cutters. <laughs> Do I need them? No. Am I a child? Yes. So uh, to be honest, some of these things, again, would probably go in the glass cabinet in the dining room. And then we've got some just like Tupperware and storage in there. This corner one is still quite full but much better organized now even though it may not look it and again some of these things would be going into the dining room for example these and those bits up there similar to the other side but this is actually a cupboard that in our house we use the most these why didn't i get these earlier i knew i'd feel this about all of this but this this is just the dream <laughs> because honestly being able to just pick up the pans without having to like scramble around inside. So much easier. And we also had our kind of like frying pans on top of all of our other pans. Now they're separate and we still have the space for another drawer. I put some of our baking trays down there for now. This is another semi-empty cupboard. And this, this has actually changed my life. <laughs> I have to say. Being able to get in here and get things out easily makes such a difference. It's quite nice because it goes back. Could you see there? It like knows where it's supposed to sit. And I have put some quite heavy things on here. Ollie was like, it shouldn't be heavy, but I think it's going to be fine. So I did put our slow cooker in there, which now I can get out and access a lot more easily because I use it all the time. I did just give this a little clear out. You may have noticed that I ended up putting our knives in here instead of on top, again, to clear some space. This is just a treat, treat drawer, by the way. Um, getting ready for Halloween this week. And then our other two, you may have noticed, we are using our new crockery. We've said goodbye to our old crockery, which honestly was taking up far too much space and cluttering over there. So I'm so glad it's in here. So we've got our plates in here. And then I moved all of the stuff out of this cupboard. So we've got our bowls in here. I feel like there are a few more upgrades that we could still continue to do. Any thoughts that you have on upgrades that have either changed your kitchen or you think would really work in ours? Do I be bougie and get yet another set of lights or is it just going to look silly? Really, I only need one for that cupboard, so six might be a bit much. I could always give six to somebody else or use them somewhere else in the house. And I have to be honest and admit probably the main reason for doing this is because I always love to be organised and ready for Christmas, which can't believe decorating is going to start in a few weeks and I love the house to just be like a clean slate when I come to decorate. So I'm going to be doing a few other rooms um, hopefully the next few weeks. I really want to get the living room back to a living room, not a living room dining room because I, Christmas is going to feel a bit weird this year. Not weird but I guess I'm not quite sure how to decorate the spaces because we're not using the front rooms at all this year. We obviously got our dining room which is storing the bathroom. I've got my fingers crossed that that will be up by Christmas but it might not be up by the time I decorate for Christmas. And then the front living room we usually have as a living room with a lovely tree but right now that's got the dining table in it. So I think I might just have to pack down the dining table, squish it into the dining room for now, flat, and then hope that I can reclaim the dining room back in time. And I may have also bought some items for our new primary bedroom, but I don't think that's going to be ready to decorate because our windows don't come until the 28th of November and they still need work. But maybe, you know, on Christmas Eve I could be decorating, so we'll see. Anyway, I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching and supporting and I'll see you soon. Bye.